case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2001, the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit heard the case of Welch and Forbes, Inc. v. Sendent Corp. The case centered around determining attorneys' fees in class action cases based on multiple factors such as the case's complexity, risk, and the value of the services provided. Sendent Corporation faced a class action lawsuit by investors due to accounting irregularities. The lead counsel, Kirby, represented a class of purchasers of Sendent's feline pride shares and filed a motion for class certification. Summary judgment on claims under Section 11 of the Securities Act, and injunctive relief. This led to a proposed settlement agreement with Sendent, in which Sendent agreed to issue new prides in exchange for existing ones. The settlement agreement stated that Kirby's fee would not exceed 10% of the aggregate stated value, plus reasonable expenses. However, the district court did not adequately apply the seven factors to determine Kirby's fee award, leading to an appeal by the trust. The Court of Appeals ultimately vacated and remanded Kirby's award for re-evaluation and also vacated and reconsidered the district court's order denying fees to the trust. The court emphasized the importance of applying the seven factors in common fund class actions and avoiding formulaic approaches. The return of unclaimed rights to Sendent may have benefited shareholders, and the court's decision reinforced the principle that private counsel should not receive fees for benefits created by public agencies. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.